Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 oldest objects made by man and his ancestors. Whenever something incredibly ancient and incredibly cool shows up, there's always someone right there ready to shout out that it's evidence of aliens. Awesome as it would be to know that E.T. was hanging out here in 10,000 BC, or whenever, the truth is both much simpler and much more interesting. So you don't need aliens to explain away intricate ancient objects. We humans have been capable of creating incredible stuff since before there were even humans. The following objects are all man-made in the sense that a proto-human intelligence was responsible for their creation but not all of them came from the mind of Homo sapiens. Instead, some come courtesy of our distant ancestors, the thinking apes who preceded us and helped us on our journey. Think the prehistoric world is dull? Well, think again. Number 10. Ice Age Batons, approximately 28,000 years old. Yes, we know what you're thinking, something along the lines of, gee, these Ice Age batons sure look like a certain part of the male anatomy. So, before we go any further, let's just categorically state that yes, these batons do indeed look like a bunch of comedy-sized wangs. And there's good reason for that. Wanna guess what it is? That's right, far from being immature, you've hit on what these probably were. Yes, you're looking at an image of a Stone Age sex toy. Known euphemistically as Battens, these proto and Summers toys have been found in a number of Ice Age sites, no doubt leading to many awkward conversations among archaeologists. The oldest of all is from Germany, specifically a place known as the Hule Fells Cave. Now, pay attention here because you're going to be hearing that name again and again in this video. Hule Fells contains one of our best preserved collections of Ice Age artifacts anywhere in the world. In 2003, it also turned out to contain the oldest baton yet found. The one you see in the picture here dates from around 28 to 30,000 BC. Just think about that for a second. This ancient <clears throat> toy is older than Stonehenge and Machu Picchu. Not that it was all dirty, though, because according to those who found it, the tool was also used for napping flints, or whatever the heck that is. Number 9. Animal figurines 30 to 40,000 years old. Sometimes the world just likes to drop something incredible right in our laps, presumably just for the fun of watching us collectively freak out. The ancient figurines found at Hule Fells, yes, that place again, are one of those somethings. Among the oldest sculptures ever found, they depict miniature birds, horses' heads, and half animal, half humans in jaw dropping detail. When these were made public in 2003, archaeology expert Dr. Anthony Sinclair declared they are as good as anything you will see thousands of years later from 3 to 4000 BC. So, um, suck it, ancient Greece. But even these works of genius have nothing on the oldest figurine we've yet found. Discovered in the same cave of wonders as the figurines was the Venus of Hole Fels, a tiny carving of a woman. A carving of a woman, the Venus may also be the earliest work of erotica. The carving has improbably large breasts, a big backside, and exaggerated genitals. She's also a lot fatter than we're guessing any Ice Age human ever was was, unless there's a prehistoric McDonald's waiting to be found in the cave as well. This suggests she may have been a fantasy, an example of Ice Age man's longing for well-stacked, fleshy women. Number 8. Neanderthal Cave Art From 40,800 years ago Yeah, we know Neanderthals aren't human. Well, get used to it. We're going to be leaving Homo sapiens for good in a little while to go gallivanting around the world of Homo erectus and his extinct pals. But first, let's just pause and take a breather, and admire the view of one of the oldest expressions of abstract art ever found. Discovered in a Spanish cave in 2012, this image we're showing here dates back a staggering 40,800 years. Imagine the incredible amount of time that exists between you and Julius Caesar or perhaps Jesus Christ. Now times that unimaginable distance by 10, and now double it, and then give up and throw the whole concept of picturing this away because you're never going to really understand just how long ago this really was. Back then, popping out for a bite meant stepping outside and being swallowed by a saber-toothed tiger. It was a world so unimaginably different from ours to be, well, unimaginable. Yet the not-quite-humans who inhabited this space still felt moved to do something uniquely human. They created art using the only things they had – their hands and some plant pigment. And, well, we think that's just swell. Number 7. Ancient Flutes, 42,000 years old. 
The Aurignacian culture is the coolest thing you've probably never heard of. A bunch of early humans who started doing their thing in the Upper Paleolithic era, the Aurignacians mark the point where art and music and specialized tools began to emerge. So yeah, pretty much everything you take for granted today started right here. At one point, scientists thought this period of intense change started no earlier than 40,000 years ago. Then someone stumbled across a 42,000-year-old bone flute in yet another German cave, and the dates had to be revised upwards. If the thought of an ancient flute doesn't send a chill down your spine, you may want to quickly double check and make sure you're not in traction. These finds mean the earliest European humans were creating music from almost the moment they arrived on the continent. Just imagine, it's dark, you've come back from a long day's woolly mammoth punching or whatever the Stone Age people used to do. The only light in your cave is from the flickering of a fire. You sit around staring into its shifting flames. And then, slowly, someone pulls out a flute and starts to play. See what we mean? It's rather magical. This is the dawn of human emotion we're witnessing here, and we've still got well over a million years of history left to go. Number 6. Aterian Beads from 110,000 years ago Grotte de Pigeon is a cave in eastern Morocco that for ages wanted nothing more than for people to forget it had such a stupid name. Then, sometime in the mid-20th century, some archaeologist guys came along and decided, hey, this looks like a pretty good spot to dig, and so they dug. And well, they dug, until suddenly everyone was too busy exclaiming over all the crazy awesomeness that was in the cave to concentrate on its stupid name. There were ashes and tools and carved rocks and all sorts of treasures, but the biggest treasure of all may have been the beads. Made of shells with perforated holes, some still with traces of red ochre on them, the beads were likely the earliest examples of jewelry we have. The researchers dated them to an impossibly distant 110,000 years ago, a time when the wheel was a far-off dream and the concept of agriculture was, well, like witchcraft. Yet our ancestors were still making jewelry. Even in a world of unrelenting danger, bear attacks, and lifespans of under 30 years, we still just wanted to look good. We can't tell whether that's shameful or maybe just the coolest thing ever. Number 5. Bone Awls, 200,000 to 400,000 years old. Okay, from here on in, the dates get vague and the periods of time involved become utterly incomprehensible. If you're cool to stick with that, then please do, because this is where we find the coolest stuff. For this entry, that means bone awls. A feature of the Middle Stone Age, also known as MSA, bone awls were little sharpened bits of bone, probably used for piercing holes in hide and making clothes. As such, they show our ancestors moving on from just wrapping themselves in the skin of a dead zebra to actually creating their own garments. Like most of the stuff in the MSA, bone awls were likely invented in Africa and then taken to Europe along with the first early humans. Good job too, as Europe back then was likely pretty damn cold. Honestly, we complain if we get stuck without heating for half a day during a mild winter. Imagine having to huddle around a fire in a cave for warmth and design your own clothes using only sharpened bits of bone and the flesh of whatever you killed. There are residents of Jersey Shore who live more fulfilling lives than that. Not really. Number 4. Projectile Points from 200,000 to 400,000 years ago This is where the MSA really hits its stride. Before early humans perfected projectile points, killing an animal meant charging at it with a kamikaze yell, waving an axe above your head, and hoping it didn't eat you. With the advent of sharpened projectile points, the equation changed dramatically. Now you didn't have to get within eating distance to kill your dinner. Humanity's time at the top of the food chain had begun. Stop and think about this for a second. You know, about all the stuff we take for granted. Before projectile points were invented, the only time you got to eat a fast-moving animal like a bird was when it dropped dead of kidney failure right in front of you. Suddenly, having spears and arrows allowed humans to expand their diets. It allowed them to create small stockpiles of food and even defend themselves from a distance. Some have even suggested that formulating complicated hunting plans using these tools helped us to develop modern human intelligence. Now, of course, our ancestors did plenty of hunting before the invention of spears and arrows, but still, their coming was a game changer that reorganized our entire species. Number 3. Hand Axe, 1.76 million years ago. 
Long before the Aurig Nation culture came along with their music and painting and liberal hippie art stuff, the hottest culture in human history was the Acheulean. Occurring sometime around 1.76 million years ago, this Stone Age revolution saw our ancestors discard the simplistic tools they'd been using up until then and start crafting complex weapons unlike anything ever seen before. Stones with specially sharpened ends were wielded by hand, and these hand axes saw early humans able to easily kill other animals for the first time in history. For a long time, scientists thought the Acheulean Revolution started about 1.4 million years ago, the period a number of hand axes found in Ethiopia dated from. Then 2011 came along and turned all of that on its head. That was the year that archaeologists digging on the muddy banks of Lake Turkana in Kenya uncovered hand axes dating from 1.76 million years ago. That's a difference of 360,000 years, which, by the way, is the difference between you watching this on your phone and the creation of stone projectile points. The people who used this, by the way, definitely weren't human, and they were probably Homo erectus. Those were the guys who decided that walking on two legs was probably the way to go. Number 2. Alduin Tools Around 2.5 million years ago Unlike the hand axes of the Acheulean Revolution, no non-experts today would be able to recognize Alduin Tools as even being, well, tools. They were pebbles and rocks that had been crudely chipped to give one serrated edge, likely for cutting, chopping, and scraping. We're talking about the absolute most basic of implements here. This was the dawn of the Paleolithic era, the point in time where hominids realized you could get more done with implements than you could with your teeth. It sounds simple to us now, but back then no one had ever even thought of it. I mean, how could they? They were little more than apes. Despite the mind-blowing chasms of time between us and the first Alduin tools, they've been found all over the world. At least all over the world as it would have been back then, which basically means Africa. Basically, Europe and Asia to these people were kind of like what an alien planet is to us. Interestingly, some scholars think that the users of these tools may have been vegetarian, hence they're being content with not developing better tools for like 700,000 years. Who needs an animal-killing hand axe when, well, you don't eat animals? Number 1. Contents of the Lake Turkana Toolbox 3.3 million years old and then we have the Lake Turkana Toolbox. To be clear, the Lake Turkana Toolbox shouldn't exist. Digging it up and dating it to 3.3 million years ago is like opening up to Tankamun's tomb to find a Boeing 747 inside. In fact, scratch that. The distance of time is so vast that it would be like opening up to Tankamun's tomb to find a sci-fi device that won't be invented for another 796,000 years. 3.3 million years ago is meant to be a time when no species existed that was capable of making tools, and yet, in 2015, scientists discovered that this was exactly what apes hanging around Lake Turkana had been doing. To be sure, they didn't look like tools, they looked like sharp rocks. But like the Alduan tools we previously mentioned, the point is that someone, or something, made them sharp. Whatever that pre-human culture was, it was starting Earth's sentient species down a path that would eventually lead to hand axes, then projectile points, then beads, then art, then music, then sculpture, and so on right the way to tablets and spacecraft and 3D printers. So when you look at it like that, you've got to admit that all those dull rocks are secretly kind of cool. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right are a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.